you said on a number of occasions here that you received from your staff concerns, complaints, comments that requests are being made, but they're asking the wrong persons. Mm -hmm. And I'm asking you, just to be clear, your response to that was to tell the CEO mm -hmm. that there is this issue that is arising and you did not feel obliged to go to the audit team that was in your department and say, listen, I told you all to go to the senior officers, you're asking junior officers, so that that problem could be resolved. You didn't do that. No, I went, because the complaint that was indicated to me was from the CEO and I brought it to the OICs, they indicated to me that they were going, as far as they knew, they were going to junior officers in some cases. And so I told the CEO what was happening and I requested for it to be put in writing so that we had a day or two within which to prepare it. Just to understand again, important documents were requested by the audit team. And according to you, they were not in the possession of the Department of Immigration. They were perhaps at the ministry. Is that correct? Yes, some of them, yes. Those documents, ledgers, whatever they were, ought properly to have been in the Department of Immigration? It was the property of the Department of, well, it was for the Department of, the immigra of Immigration, but the ministry was using it because they were doing their investigation also. Fine. My concern is this. this here are documents that are critical to this audit, which you welcome, that are at the ministry, which you ought to have. The audit team is asking for it. And your response to it is simply, I don't have it. The ministry have it. You felt no obligation to get it and make it available to the audit team. It's not that I didn't feel any obligation. Did you feel an obligation to do so? I was concerned, yes, I was concerned that we did not have it. And so because it was not with us, we referred them to the ministry. A lot was going on in the department at that time. A whole lot was going on. I understand all of that. The question I'm asking you specifically is whether you felt obligated to get these documents that belonged in your department from the ministry and make it available to the audit team. I believe it was my obligation, yes, and I did indicate that to the CEO that they wanted documents that were not in my possession. Right. So let's go one step further. You indicated to the CEO what was required, what was requested, and that the ministry had it. Did you take any steps to ensure that the CEO ensured that the audit team got the documents? No, I left it at that. I you thought the CEO would have addressed it, yes. And that is why, if I understand the documents that you're providing to us, you were surprised when the criticism was being made of you, when in fact what you had, you handed over, but what you didn't have, you directed your officers or the CEO to tell the audit team where they can find these documents? I directed my officers and I advised the CEO 